How's it going? I wanted to make a, another camper van update video of what I recently finished, which is my bed. It came out pretty cool. Um, I'll go ahead and show you some videos of it. Um, first, I'll show you the bed with with um, all the crap under it and the, the blankets on top, just to show you how it looks and the storage capabilities. Um, and then I'll take everything out and show you how I built it. It's pretty basic. I also want to show you my new coffee setup that I got. It's a stainless steel French press. And I'm going to try to make a cup of coffee in my van. Um, I'm going to use a 400 watt uh, inverter, a cheap inverter I have. And I'm going to try to power my, my new coffee grinder to freshly ground grind coffee for my French press. I'm going to make a a real cup of coffee in my van. I just want to see how it, how it turns out because I'm going to do it quite often. Anyways, check it out and thank you so much. Okay, I just wanted to show you how my bed looks from the inside with stuff under it to show you the storage capabilities. Um, it came out pretty well and it's very strong. Uh, let me go ahead and take everything out and show you how I built it. Okay, so this is my new bed. Um, it's just long enough for me. Thankfully, I'm short. I'm almost 5'8", so it's almost too short, but it's just right. Um, I use the old bed wood platform from my old van, because wood's really expensive now, and I just put a couple coats of polyurethane, the leftovers from my kitchen cabinet. And I use these, I made these really strong 2x4 frames. two of them under the middle for a lot of support and I bolted them to the floor of the van using the old seat bolts so those were already there which was really convenient um, on the sides of the van I I put rivets in using a special tool and I put two by fours to give support to the sides or the ends of the bed which worked out pretty well and the same on this side I had to do a little trimming of the of the plastic crap in my van but it all came out pretty well and that's pretty much it it's not it's like almost perfect but it's a little warped as you see over here on this side it kind of warps up on the top left corner over there but it came out pretty nice anyways that's it thank you so much okay so there goes my French press coffee setup um, I know it's a lot, but you know what? I think this setup will pay in the end because I'm so sick of going to Starbucks and and you know buying a uh, a name and paying three dollars for a cup of coffee. And if I want to pour over, it takes it takes some extra time, and they don't like doing pour overs. And I understand they're very busy. Um, and then their drip coffee sometimes it's not fresh. Uh, I'm sick of going to McDonald's for a subpar coffee, even though it's a dollar, it's not that good, and it's it's inconsistent with quality and freshness and everything and, and heat. So I had a French press before, so I'm, I'm kind of fami familiar with making French press coffee. So, um, and I'm also going to go low on the, I'm going to use tablespoons instead of, uh, teaspoons instead of tablespoons, heaping teaspoons. Because I'm not even supposed to drink coffee, believe it or not, because I have panic disorder. So let's go ahead and try to make this. Oh, and um, I'm using this uh, po uh, power inverter down there. It's a 400 watt Everstart. It's really actually pretty good for for Walmart quality. And eventually I'm going to mount it. It's a really. I'm glad I found it in my garage. I'm going to mount it to my control board. So it powers this uh, little coffee grinder because I believe this is only 150 watts or so. Anyways. Check it out. Let's see how it comes up. Okay, I'm, I'm boiling about a little over two cups of water and I'm going low on water because I'm trying to simulate having to conserve water and I don't need that much coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and grind the coffee as well. Um, what I like to do with these electric grinders, I like to shake them as I grind to evenly uh, grind all the bean. And I'm going to go for a coarse grind, which is what you need for a French press. So let me go ahead and grind that.
Okay, I put um, about four heaping teaspoons, not tablespoons, of coffee. And I'll go ahead and add this almost boiling hot water. It's a little, I think this water is a little too hot, but this is my first time after a long time of, since I've used a French press. But let's see how it turns out. Okay. Give it a little stir. I'll go ahead and let that sit for about four minutes. Let me set my timer. Okay, it's been four minutes. Let's gently press the plunger down. Okay, so far. Oh, I could feel like a vacuum. Okay. Alrighty, so it should be done. Let's see how it turned out. I'm using an old Starbucks cups, and I have some half and half here as well. So let's see. Did you see it? Okay, let's see. Oh, this has to be. I think I'll stop right over there so I don't have a panic attack. And this is really light as well because, um, like I said, I'm only using one teaspoon opposed to a tablespoon of what you're supposed to use. So. Let me go ahead and uh, try it up. That's a lot of work for a cup of coffee. But, um, I'll do this every once in a while when I want a proper cup of coffee. Usually I drink instant coffee. But let's go ahead and try it out and see how it tastes. I'll drink it black first, then I'll add the half and half. Mmm, smells really good. My whole van smells like a, a cafe right now, actually. Oh my god. And this is with a, a half the amount or less um, coffee as well. It's so good. Oh man. It's so full bodied. It has, uh, you could see oil on the top because uh, the French press retains the natural oils of the coffee bean. And this coffee, the French roast I have, is excellent. Mm, very good. And I'll go ahead and add the half and half and see how it tastes. Hmm. It's a little, almost a little too light. So maybe next time I'll go, I'll use a recommended amount of coffee. But anyways, it turned out, turned out good and um, the experiment went well. So um, thank you so much for watching and till next time.